So let's do this with a function, a Boolean function that has three variables. So here we see a Boolean function with three variables, and this one is expressed as an input-output table, right? So now if we want to identify what is the Boolean expression for this function, we can do that with min terms. So let's go ahead and find here's one because it, right, if the output is one. So this is a term right here. And so we do a product and we need in, we include each of the input variables. So in this case, it's going to be the complement of x. So I write that with x and a single quote times, there's a 1 in y and a 1 in z. So I'm going to use times y times z. So there's the, there's the first min term. And then I go to the next one. And here's the next one. And I look at what these values are. So the x and the z have a 1 and the y has a 0. So that's the one I'll use a complement with. So up here, the next min term is an x and the complement of y and z. So that's this min term right here. The last one, or the third one, is has a 1 for each one of the values. So no complements. It'll just be x, y, and z. So I'll write that x, y, z. And so now I've got the three min terms. And to get the Boolean expression, then I simply sum those together. Right? I do the first one plus the next one plus the next one. And now it doesn't matter which order you write them in, right? Because we know that we can, if we have a series of sums, we can organize them how we want. Anyway, but those are the three min terms, and it's the sum of those min terms. Let's go ahead and do one more with three variables. So here's another one, and here's a function. It's expressed as a table, and we can find a Boolean expression for that by finding the min terms. So the first min term is going to be where this one is. It's right there at the top. And notice all of these are zero. So it's going to be the complement of all of them. So it's going to be x, the complement of x times the complement of y times the complement of z is the first min term. And we're going to make this a sum. So the next min term is where the next one is. And that's going to be the complement of x. And then y and z have 1, so they won't, they'll just be y and z. So we have the complement of x and y and z. The third one is right here, and that has x and then the complement for y and the complement for z. So I'm going to sum these, and it's x, and it's the complement of the y and the complement of z. So there's the third one, and here's the fourth one, and that's x and y and the complement of z. x and y and the complement of z. And there I have the sum of min terms. And this is really another way to express this function. And they're, the, the, they're equivalent. They both express the same function.